Welcome to the Stade de Esprit de Incan for round two of Global Champions League. And come, well, it has been a great hunting ground to the two time GCL champions, to um, Valkenswaard United. But also Miami Celtics and Shanghai Swans have scored two podium finishes in the French city by the Côte d'Azur. Good atmosphere here in the Stade Esperide, where now the Hamburg Giants come in. The Giants who sit third of the championship but risk losing that top four position. Bless on Chris Kras. A little bit tricky the inside turn, a little bit drifting, a little bit unfocused, but gets there clear just in time. Time allowed is 80 seconds. He's there, he's home in 79.24. So, clear from Barbles, really next on Fiumicino van de Kale Vallee. When the front wheel goes, we know that uh, both Spencer Smith and Scott Brash were really fast, and it's another one gone, and now he's on eight. Uh, with the eight, the Hamburg Giants will not uh, be second last, but last. Hey, you're feeling 152.90. They are actually 15 seconds slower. The Giants on 24. And here come the leaders, Berlin Eagles, powered by Fundis Reitsport. Owen McMahon, now with Chakra. Yes, mayor by Casal and Kidam de Revel. Looking for that first clear inside the time allowed. Ooh, that is the front rail. So now just one single time fault in hand to Paris Panthers for the lead. If the Eagles would drop even more, they could lose their lead to the Prague line. It was just a single fence down for Owen McMahon that puts them on four. But that does put the pressure on Christian Kukuk. Oh, and an early fault. Forget about the statistics. The rail is down at fence one for Christian Kukuk. And finishes. On four, the team on 14, they drop a spot. They drop a spot. Madrid in motion. It's Eric van der Vleuten first on Dreamland. But this season, there's a little bit more spice to this team. Oh, and there's a fault. And now van der Vleuten, after a clear on day one, has four as he heads for the finish, has to keep an eye on the clock, it's 80 seconds time allowed, Van der Vleuten sets him up, gets a big rub on the front rail, but finishes in time, and Van der Vleuten a little bit disappointed. Van der Vleuten, the other Van der Vleuten, with Movil Z. Good jumping. Here comes Van der Vleuten to keep the team on eight. And in the lead here in Cannes, a deep one, and it's a clear. And with eight, we have a new team in the lead, that is Madrid in motion. 151.65 seconds is the time over there, two riders. And actually, that is not slow at all. But in the meanwhile, Stockholm Hearts powered by H&M with uh, the twin brothers, Nicola and Olivier Philippards. And Nicola Philippards goes first. He jumped the clear in round one. And just as a reminder, so far in this round two, no team has jumped double clear so far. The Hearts have a 10-point deficit on the Eagles. There is a four-point difference between Madrid in motion and the Hearts. It's a very slow clear, but it is a clear for Stockholm Hearts, powered by H&M. That really ups his statistics. And could it be that finally we're going to get a double clear? It's now over to Olivier with H&M Legend of Love. Oh, and it's gone. It is gone. The plank is gone. There's no double clear. No, not here. Not from Stockholm Hearts, powered by H&M. And Philippe Arts knows that now he has to bring out the biggest quality of this mare, and that is her speed. 
and they, they're not going to make the time of Madrid in motion. Madrid in motion is going to close on Stockholm Hearts. And is it going to be Miami Celtics taking away valuable points from Stockholm Hearts? No. Madrid in motion lead, Stockholm Hearts go second. Here come Shanghai Swans. Kuhnert has made a horse change to up to Chaco Blue. Alman stays with the Black Stallion. There is something special about Alman and the Black Stallions. Now picks up the pace. He knows that if it would come down to time, that that was a turn where he could lose a lot. Not necessarily win, but lose. And so Alman rides where they first approach a first distance to the last and leaves the last standing and he's also quick 73.91 seconds at this third fastest time of the afternoon and Almam moves the Swans and especially Kuner into a position for the Swans to take the lead here a clear in 77 is enough from Max Kuner and up to Jaco Blue the Irish bred by Jaco Blue and also Kuhner is moving. He knows that no team has jumped double clear. That it's difficult to jump clears in Can over this Uyana Vezali track. Oh, and that's gone. And that is gone. The team is now also on eight. And now it is a battle for time. Here comes Kuhner to the last. And where do they go? Where do they go? They stay ahead of oh, Madrid in motion. Yes, it's Shanghai Swans taking the lead with eight faults in 149.60. And the last team to go has got two rails in hand, and that is Prague Lions. And I can imagine that they are aiming for a double clear, taking less risk, less than Alman, less than Van der Vleuten, less than Kuhner. Reduces the pace, can he get a swing? Oh, doesn't he? Uh, Hits the back rail, but it's still standing. It's not the super safe round and clear has got the vertical down. Time allowed is 80 seconds. He does have to worry about the time limit. The force is there at 77.87 seconds. The Lions still have one rail in hand. They sit on four, Swans on eight, Madrid in motion on eight. And one rider still left to go. The last man here in Cam in Global Champions League. One rail in hand. Brazil's horse hasn't jumped a big class yet. If a fence falls, Brazil's has to finish in 71 seconds. Brazil's with a little bit more pace than the Vos into this line. He knows exactly what he has to do and he jumps that combination all clear. They won in Saint-Tropez and Brazil's is now heading home for the final fence. Time faults won't matter. Is it their second win? It is their second win. How about that? Prague Lions win in come. A perfectly composed and controlled clear from Brown Seals. And Prague Lions win the second one at the Côte d'Azur. After Saint-Tropez, they also top the leaderboard here in come. Early Needles do stay in the lead with uh, 133 points and just two points behind on the Prague Lions. And the Stockholm Hearts are now third. Madrid in motion are fourth. And then Can Stars are now in ninth. They have moved up. The Pirates are tenth. And Istanbul Sultans have lost quite a lot. We did a fantastic job with our team here uh, by, by managing it very well. Um, first day, Brian rode very, very good. and. Uh, then uh, Niels came in today with a very fresh horse and, uh, of course, a very good rider. So I think we did the, the good uh, tactics to, to stand here on top of the podium.